Hi, it's Sean here from Persian Cat Corner and I just want to record a video today um, and discuss some of the problems and issues that I've had with the Little Robot Free Open Air and the Little Robot Free Connect version. Um, so I've owned a Little Robot now for about two years um, and I've encountered various different issues. Um, and I, I had a, an issue today with the, the Little Robot Free and I thought it'd be a good idea to you know, just let people know what sort of things you can encounter because they're not, you know, these these uh, litter robots are not foolproof. Um, you do get issues with them. Um, it's not a system where you will just set it and forget it, as I've mentioned in previous videos. Um, it certainly does have its, uh, you know, its problems. So one of the first problems I encountered was with the original uh, litter robot free open air version that I had and that was it used to stop mid cycle so it would stop you know with the dome upside down and obviously this is a you know quite a problem especially if you're not at home um you know if you're out all day and you come in and the dome's upside down then obviously if you've not got another litter box around as a backup which I always did in that scenario I always had um, a separate you know just a regular litter box in case that you know the little robot failed or for some reason because the last thing you want is you know your cat using the toilet in your house um, so it, it did happen a number of times and like I said I discussed this in a previous video and you know I spoke to to litter robot direct with regards to this and all I did to kind of stop this happening was um, I, I basically took the took the dome off, cleaned all the all these like different contact areas where the sensors are once you take the dome off. I cleaned these areas, and I also made sure the little robot was on a perfectly flat surface, because I think where I had it originally, um, it was on like a lino type floor, um, and it was it was at the edge edge of the room where the lino kind of bubbled up so i don't think it was perfectly flat and i think that was having an effect because it was happening a lot at this time um and then since doing that since putting it obviously on a perfectly flat surface cleaning all the contacts and the sensors i've not had that problem since um probably not had any issue with that now for about six months but like I say, I did have that for a period of time where it was uh, it was stopping, and then you get the uh, yellow flashing light, um, which you know it's quite annoying. Really, it's it's not something you expect when you you're spending five hundred dollars on a product. And then the other issue I had was uh, more recent. This was with um, the Little Robot Free Connect and. Um, it did a cycle basically and it the the little robot over cycled um so what i mean by that is it finished the cycle in a different position so where it should finish the cycle with the the you know the rubber part at the bottom and the entrance so you can cat can go into the dome it actually finished the cycle to one side so it was a it was at probably 45 degree angle and not not cent center line so obviously your cat wouldn't better use it um it did this after i'd actually cleaned the litter robot so I, i'd took the dome off and i did my best to replace the dome in the exact position that you know i took it off in um, but it mustn't have, have been you know bang on and it basically meant that when it did finish cycling it was it was finishing off not in the perfectly aligned position. So what I did to cure this was, um, I had a look on the little robot site to see if there were any troubleshooting. And I basically unplugged the little robot at the mains and then plugged it back in. Um, and it cycled back into the uh, the own position then. So that, that cured that problem. But it is something, you know, a lot of my readers on my blog have mentioned similar problems to these so i just thought it'd be good to to discuss them and possible solutions um 
And then the the issue I've had um, recently, and it was something that cropped up today, was um, with regards to the Little Robot Connect app. So I've been getting a notification that the uh, the Little Robot is full. So when you've got the Connect version, you get the app, and it will actually tell you, um, it you know it gives you a gauge on how full your Little Robot is. Now I thought mm, that's very strange because I know for a fact that the Little Robot's empty. I cleaned it out yesterday um, and I know that there's you know hardly any waste in there because I keep my eye on it um, but every time this this went on for well, it has been going on for a number of weeks um, where you know I would empty empty the little robot and then the first time it does a cycle I was getting a notification through my, my phone saying the little robot is full and then it would flash the blue light would flash and it wouldn't cycle again. So I thought, okay, this is really strange. So I wondered whether the uh, the bag in the drawer was maybe blocking one of the sensors. So I tried to adjust that. Um, still, you know, still no luck at all with that. Um, I actually deleted the app um, and reconnected the app. I, did, I didn't know whether it was, you know, an iOS update that had affected it or something. Again, still, still wasn't working. Um, so what I did in this instance again was I, I unplugged the power of the mains and I turned the litter robot off and again I took the globe off I stripped it all down basically took out the drawer and I cleaned all the sensors deleted the app again um, reinstalled the app put the litter robot back together plugged it back in did, did what's called an hard reset and that, that seems to have sorted it. Um, so again, you know, just a just an, a little bug really that came from nowhere. I know the app, not everybody has the, the Connect version with the app. But if you do have the app and you have, you know, a similar issue, um, I would recommend unplugging the mains, the mains adapter. Take the dome off. Give the sensors a clean. Um and I, I, like I said, I deleted the app and reinstalled it, and that seems to have cured it. So one of those three steps cured the problem. Um, but yeah, you, you do get, you know, with anybody who says that the little robot is faultless and you'll never have problems, the to be quite honest, talking rubbish. You know, I, I, it, it isn't. It isn't a perfect product. It's it's one of one of the best out there. Um, you know, and it's a, it's a lot of money. You know, it's five hundred dollars. Um, I like it overall, but you know, if you are looking to purchase a little robot, be aware you will have problems every now and then. Um, and it's not something where if I was going away for a day or two, or I was leaving the house for an extended amount of time, I wouldn't be 100% confident just having the little robot. I'd either have a separate, a separate cat litter box out as a backup, so to speak. Or the other option would be you could turn the litter robot off so it can't cycle and then obviously cycle it when you come home. But again, that kind of defeats the object of, of it really. That then turns it into a manual litter box. Um, so yeah, I just thought I'd record this today and just uh, give you an idea of some of the issues I've had. If you've had any of these issues, um, let me know. Leave a comment in the comment section below. Um, you know, and if you've got any sort of troubleshooting guide on the issues you've had and cured, then leave them below and we can help out any of the users that have these issues. Um, if you're viewing this and you're looking to buy the Litter Robot, then uh, I'm an affiliate for the Litter Robot and uh, I'll leave a link below where you get $25 off. Um, you know, it's not, not massive amounts, but if you... You know, every little else really and if you're looking to buy it there'll be a link below just to let you know like i said i'm an affiliate so i will get a commission if you do buy through the link so if you do that then thank you very much if not then uh, i hope this video has been useful for you so thanks for taking the time to view this video bye bye for now